Hello there commanders and welcome to another episode of Total War Arena Battle Commentary. This time we are up with Dryer with an absolute meme of a battle. As you can see, skip your javelins. Uh, Bloodfanis is bringing double light artillery cavalry on what commander? Germanicus? What a memer. <laughs> but absolutely, is it Germanicus? It is! <laughs> so yeah, he has no access to any unit abilities whatsoever. And I don't think he has any idea how to play Land of the Ring either. So... There's that. But anyway, let's focus on, on my meme. Skip your javelins, because this is an actually valid meme. And yeah, I would in this battle I would like you I would like to encourage you guys to meme. But with a warning, meme but only if you know how. So what is a meme in this case? Alright, because meme is when you don't take the best commander for a unit, because obviously the best commander for javelins is Caesar. But Scipio has some unique advantages over Caesar, and if you can use those specific advantages that come with Scipio or any other non-meta commander, let's say, and you know how to use them, like here. This guy routed because of my war cry, and then Alan routed and then routed again. Because morale system in Arena is top-notch, just saying. Oh, we'll get to that probably in a different video or a podcast. But yeah. As you could see, I closed the distance between me and the Slingers. Not like it really mattered because I was in Tallgrass so they wouldn't see me anyway. But I got there faster and I got a jump on them. And I got to shoot at them one or two volleys. So, it worked. And then use Warcry, which is again something that Caesar cannot do, to route an enemy unit, which otherwise wouldn't route. Oh well, maybe it would route, but not as early as it did. So, there's that. And yeah, since javelins are very close to melee engagements all the time because of their short range, there's pretty much always a chance um, to have an opportunity to just walk up, use Warcry, and route a unit that otherwise wouldn't route, and turn the engagement around much, much quicker than you would be able to do that. To do by just shooting or just providing Caesar buffs. Right? Because Caesar also um, changes the course of the battle. Uh, the engagement, the melee engagement that happens in front of him, not only by shooting, but also providing um, Veni Vidvici to his allies. <clears throat> but Scipio, yeah, while he has less, op fewer opportunities to use his abilities, but when he does, and when he uses those abilities correctly, they have bigger impact uh, than Caesar's abilities. Because Caesar's abilities are like passive buffs really that just work their and lift their weight over time. Well Skipper is all about explosive action. Charge, I quickly close the distance, war cry, I quickly routed a unit, turn the engagement extremely fast. And yeah, here our enemies are also memers because they believe in ranged meta. And so what do you do against ranged meta? You just push. Uh, you can listen to the live recording as well as like yo they don't have any melee units. I just took their point. And that's what we did. And then we see that, yeah, Jason in here isn't really the best of ideas. This guy picked the wrong path. I mean, he wanted to deny them healing, which he was too slow to do so. They got their melee units back. Otherwise, it would have been a good idea. But he still gets to kill their um, light artillery, so there's that. And the other capture point is locked out for 90 seconds, and we just go back, heal. Me, Astolfo, and this uh, cavalry guy. And now they have to stand on top of the point for 40 seconds and do nothing. While well, we are already pushing, uh, transitioning our advantage that we got over here on this flank, and we are transitioning over to the center, which isn't doing too hot right now to the surprise of no one. I don't know. So, yeah, uh, well, we lost A. Oh, did we? Yeah, we did. So A has been flipped temporarily, but uh, luckily our allies are getting it back. But it's still a loss in points, 
since we are not getting any points for the duration of the fight over A. So now we just be, will be able to get back. Kiwi, the only reasonable out of all of us, picks actual Germanicus for heavy Roman infantry. What a mad lad. Picking a Germanicus, a meta commander. Wow, what a meta slave, Kiwi. <laughs> like an Astolfo. <laughs> he brings, he brings Sula. Because, yeah, in, in Astolfo's own words, <laughs> He spits on Germanicus players, the meta slaves. They, the Germanicus players just want to have it easy, like win every melee engagement because vengeance, do not care about any ranged units because Testudo, do not care about any cavalry because you outcharge them with your heavy infantry charge. So well, anyway, we want to press our advantage here towards C, but we do not get any support whatsoever. So Stolfo is trying to hold here, but the Fox guy not Fox God, Fox Guy manages to sneak through a little bit and get to my javelins. Uh, in the meantime, I'll also use Warcry in here to route one of the units. Or help route one of the units, but it didn't route. I tried, okay? So, yeah, as you can see. What is it? Uh, I can't see. Did I use any Warcrys? No. Anyway, I split up, so this is what you should do. But. Unfortunately, this unit dies, even though it tries its best to run away. And just before it manages to level up. Lovely. So yeah, that was quite unlucky. This unit leveled up uh, in time before dying, so that's okay. I still deal some significant damage to those folks that are uh, following me. But yeah, we didn't manage to get C back, and our B is now getting captured by enemy cavalry. So, yeah, we are not looking too hot in this battle, because we might have memed too hard. So, this is another uh, warning to you, uh, viewers, maybe watch out with the memes, because we are not memeing only on the unit choices we're picking. We're al also memeing in the fact that we pretty much don't coordinate at all. <laughs> I guess you can see Kiwi is here on the left side, Latvanis is doing Latvanis things, just hiding his Germanicus slight artillery in cavalry, what, what do you expect? <laughs> right, and then I, I'm a ranged player, so yeah. Now this, this comes the scary part of being the ranged player, where you just died, you spawned back into your base or any other range, uh, any other respawn point. And how you get from here to the action safely when there is so much cavalry running around. We see this guy here who you capped B previously. We see this guy here who got unprotected javelins. Even the funnier thing, this guy is the same player. He doesn't even protect his own javelins. Absolute memer as well, spotted right here. Doesn't protect his very own ranged unit. That takes a ranged unit and two melee units to protect the ra uh, ranged. Doesn't protect it anyway because he's a memer. What a mad lad. Shout out to you, good hat. <laughs> and yeah, well, this archer player is also fucked. Astolfo still holding here. Sula da doing Sula things. Though he is against Germanicus, but I think he routed him at some point, so he lost his vengeance. So now Germanicus versus, uh, without vengeance oh, well, isn't really that hot and Sula actually starts having some advantages because he has just passive buffs that uh, help him all the time like fortification and whip that he can use all the time almost all the time and yeah that way that's how Sula wins over Germanicus but yeah again in, in certain circumstances um, you know if you manage to fight a Germanicus without vengeance, right, or you don't actually fight Foxman because fortification, let me see, for yeah, there we go, you can see the buffs over here, but you cannot over here, sadly, uh, so yeah, you can see that it gives 100% shield melee defense, but Foxes ignore shields, so all he gets is just a 39% melee defense against Foxman, which isn't enough against uh, their abilities that they have, like Defiance or Frenzy, or whatever the commander they were using. But yeah, as you can see, most of people are just using Bursting Gatorade because he's also extremely, extremely powerful commander. 
Oh shit. Oh, I missed. I missed it. I, re I remember this part from the battle fight. <laughs> like from the live recording. Um, yeah, this is a very interesting um, situation here. Because w when I approached them, I was like, well, there's no way we can win this fight, right? Because the they have a huge advantage in numbers, they have better unit types, they don't meet with their commanders. So yeah. But I've seen, well, there is this cavalry here that is capping our B back and it's some infantry. So if I go very aggressively, maybe my allies will be encouraged to follow my aggression and, you know, trap them here because what well, they were here, they were in a very bad spot that is very prone to being surrounded and memed on. And that's what we did. Um, we could have rooted here or here to the lake, but either way they would have suffered huge casualties and we now get to press the attack. But you also need to recognize when to not press the attack. Recovery player run here into enemy phalanx, straightforward. So yeah, not a very good idea. Now he's... okay, he doesn't sneak in, he goes back. And well, I'm the entire using the tall grass to approach these arches and be able to shoot, on, uh, shoot them without them being able to shoot back because they lack a vision. Now our cavalry guy finally spots the opportunity, goes straight for the light artillery, but light artillery as you can see their bolts disrupt his charge and he's not able to do uh, well a very good charge. But he still gets in there and he was fighting. Meanwhile the mad lad, Uncle Trash, is pushing through. He's, he's doing the same thing we did um, at the beginning of the battle. He gets rid of the uh, melee unit, pushes straight through. He's Germanicus, right? Well, he's Sulla as well. What a mad lad. What an absolute meme of a battle. <laughs> so, well, Uncle Trash also memeing with his Sulla. I thought he's just had, you know, the studio he doesn't care really about uh, the range units. But no, he's Sulla. Um, and yeah, he does the same thing that we did. He spots, well, they don't have any melee units in here. Dogs aren't coming. But he manages to flip the point in time. Maybe not in time. Well, I guess, yeah, there's no way they could have made it to the healing point. And now look at this mad lad. Staying just on the edge of the uh, capture point, not allowing dog player in and capturing E himself. He'll die because he's completely outnumbered here. But he secures E, locks it for 90 seconds, and well, these guys are in a very tough spot again. And in the meantime, I died. Didn't even notice. Oh, well, this is what happens in this meta where there's so many cavalry units just roaming around. I mean, they only have two cavalry players, but yeah, uh, you do not have any sort of coherent front line because people die, respawn, go back to heal, come back to the action. Uh, so, getting protection for ranged units, especially when your teammates are just memeing on you as well, yeah, it's, it's very hard to get any sort of protection. Well, in the meantime, Astolfo is over here at D, so far away from me, uh, I'm on the other side of the battlefield. But yeah, I'm going towards C since we flipped E and there's nobody between me and the cavalry units. Uh, prediction I die. I think I die. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Astolfo, another mad lad. He manages to do the same trick. I mean, this guy just fucked up, to be honest. But he's big brain Germanicus player, okay? He'll he'll do it. He has vengeance. So anyway, Astolfo manages to flip the point, so denies the healing zone. Sadly, um, it wasn't enough to hold hold the Germanicus uh, for long enough to actually capture the point, like Uncle Trash did. But Uncle Trash was against just dogs attacking the frontally. Here it's two versus three and an open situation so the guy managed to get in from the side or maybe one of these units with their vengeance pushed um, enough into the circle to stop it but well triple versing Eteric cavalry charges in into Germanicus almost routes him gets a refund plus nuke damage but that's not enough to route him but look at the damage 
He loses he a little bit more models and he goes into uh, wavering and he dies. Well, he doesn't stick around for long enough. Cavalry charge, I guess, scared him away. And now he applies a rear charge and a rear flank to these guys. Oh, look, it died. I just noticed. Hmm. I wonder what happened. Hmm. And we all know what happened. Ranged meta happened. It absolutely exists. Let's not forget that. We I just commented on the battle. Why the fuck that keeps spawning in positions? I mean, okay, our team is pushing E again. Good job, Uncle Trash and this cavalry player. Oh, so you get a chat. Okay. Questionable. Quite questionable. Maybe it was on cooldown, but just, just come on, you can just wheel it and charge again once it is off cooldown. Just make sure you actually have some time to get the speed so that your charge is actually effective. But well, it is locked down for 10 seconds and they'll. Yeah, they already did. Get rid of those javelins because a routed unit cannot contest the point. So keep that in mind. It doesn't matter if it is here or not, as long as it's routed, the base will be. Yeah. The point. Oh, a little bit captured, and Uncle Trash is going to secure that E point again. I guess. You see? Hey, look, I'm closing your distance with uh, Rough Mars. What I mean? Well, let's focus. Let's focus on the real hero of this battle, Uncle Trash. This guy is a mad lad. Flipping E again, <laughs> denying the healing zone again, and this cavalry guy again against the light artillery. Look at this. The charge didn't go through at all. Trying to try. Hey, there we go, it finally pulled through. There's another way Scipio is kind of OP, because his charge is so long. Oh, we can see it over here. Oh. Yeah, duration 7 seconds. So even though he got knocked back several times, just because the charge is 7 seconds long, it still went through. <laughs> you see how charge duration is a very important stat, and that's why Scipio is so much better than Alexander. There are also multiple other reasons why Scipio is so much better than Alexander, but this is one of them. And it's a perfect highlight as to why. And well, this is not the only reason, but one of many. Why the charge duration is a very important stat. Hey, I finally get to kill some stuff while not being killed by enemy cavalry. Yorokobe Shonen. Oh, look at the I don't know what he was up to. I wonder where Skeevy. Here. Ooh, the fight. He gets the route somehow. No idea how that happened, but okay. Probably a rear flank from. He was still uh, not wavering. Uh, but yeah, he, he, he's dead in this situation. And look at those cavalry players. This guy has uh, rank 4. The cavalry player in our team has rank 4. Where is he? The other guy. Is that? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that's why I can't spot him. But uh, he also is rank 4 with his units. Because cavalry gets all the fun. Damn it. Hey, focus fire. See? Good friendly fire. And I also got to close the distance here. Just for the memes of it, I guess. Just to move faster around the battlefield. And yeah, uh, we now control all the points because our team is so amazing at memeing that it somehow memed around itself and won. No idea how, actually. But we somehow did. Yeah, this, this battle is really one big meme. So, yeah, uh, this is a little bit different battle commentary. Uh, the previous battle commentaries were all about, you know, highlighting important stuff, giving you advices. Uh, advice, I guess. There's no proper form of it because English is weird. <clears throat> and yeah, so here it ends. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this alternative form of battle commentary? How does it compare to the previous battles? I mean, the previous battle was one sent to me by Sivoar, which I watched blindly, 
I have no idea what is going to happen. Here we just focus on the memes. And yeah, I mean the lesson still is here, right? Just like in the previous battle commentaries. Um, which is meme with caution, but you can absolutely meme and still win. Um, as long as you know what you're doing, the memes can actually be extremely effective. But maybe you need, do need to get lucky to actually get into situations where you can use them. Or you need to be, you know, extremely well cooperated with your team, your party. Which, in this battle, I absolutely wasn't. To, you know, create those scenarios uh, in which you can abuse the memes. For example, I don't know, you would go with multi Addis maybe, and some or Barbarian Infantry. Something really fast, um, that flanks a lot. And then, you know, Barbarian Infantry flanks. Oh, no, he has 10 morale left. If only there was something to rout him. And then you're... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Don't worry, my fellow Barbarian citizen... Well, he's Roman citizen. My fellow party member. War cry. He's routed. Thank me later. <laughs> so, yeah. I encourage you guys to meme to have fun with the lower arena but just be careful not to meme too much because it may you know turn around on, on, on its own or turn around too much and then you win uh, or having no idea how <laughs> anyway you can see the live recording of this battle as well on our channel uh, which link to will be in the top right corner or on the end screen because it is the end of the recording so remember to friendly fire that subscribe button, it would really help me bring back Arena to the west and you can also check the links in the description below to that goal. And I will see you on Arena's battlefields, commanders. <laughs>